touch the sky with glory. The motto of our Indian Air Force. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Manjeet Abhay, and today I am honoured to speak about the Indian Air Force, a true symbol of nation's strength and pride. Established on 8th of October 1932 and had its first flight on 1st of April 1933. The Indian Air Force has grown into one of the world's most powerful air forces with its cutting-edge aircraft. And highly skilled personnel, ensuring safety of our skies and the security of our nation. In addition to it, talking about Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, one of the India's most revered scientists, once aspired to join the Indian Air Force. Although he couldn't make it, but he went on making groundbreaking contributions. to our india's defense technology and earned a title of the missile man of india he played a very crucial and vital role in developing india's develop uh, india's defense technology and aerospace program the air force not only offers a job but a career filled with pride filled with pride honor and a purpose imagine yourself sitting in a cockpit of powerful lethal and a machine gun which is loaded with tons and tons of modern technology the world will spread below you when you cut through the skies at supersonic speeds the roar of engine and the rush of adrenaline is one of the most best and unique combination one could experience in his or her life in the indian air force you will have the opportunity to master the one of the most advanced aircraft in the world and mastering that skill which only handful of individual can claim our whole defense system consisting indian air force indian army and indian navy ensures safety of our nation and security of our skies at last i would like to speak a few lines in honor of our india's defense system he jal sena he sthal sena he vayu sena mera tumse itna hi kehna ki jahan bhagwan pina rehta ho wahan hai tera rehna tere mein itna jos tere mein itna jos कि तो दुश्मन को एक ही बार में खा जाए और कुछ व्यर्थ जाए ना जाए तेरा नाम नमक और निशान का जोश कभी व्यर्थ ना जाए कभी व्यर्थ ना जाए